Welcome back, everyone. You know it's an exciting day in the neighborhood when uh, we've got some more org mode fun to go through here. Today we're going to look at a way you can dynamically number the headlines in an org mode document. And this will be independent of the final export, of course, but it can be useful inside a document you're working with. Uh, so let's just, let's go to my temp directory here and let's, uh, let's call this uh, number doc. So we're going to set up a new org mode document right here. Let's give it a title. Uh, beautiful document. We've got a, a beautiful document here. And let's say we have, you know, first heading, second heading, and third heading. So now, as you're familiar with working in org mode, you know that these different headlines can be used to uh, capture your different ideas and rearrange them as needed, move things up or down as you like. Uh, and then as you export these, they will be automatically numbered in the resulting format you send this out to, whether it's HTML or LaTeX or Markdown. And you can decide if you want the headings to all be unnumbered, or if you want certain ones to be numbered and certain ones to be unnumbered. Uh, but what about in your document here, if uh, for some reason you want to see these numbered, you can actually turn on something called uh, Alt X, I just did there, org num mode. And of course, there's different ways to turn this on and off. You can set it as an option that will always be on, or you can set it on per document. Um, here, I just used uh, Alt X or Meta X to turn it on so you can see how it works. So basically now what this did is it's dynamically, whoops, dynamically numbering the headlines. So you know, so this is, um, this is my, my first heading here, as you know, and now, but if I move that heading down, you'll see it automatically changes the number dynamically. So now it's in the second position, even though you know, it's still called first heading. And of course, this also works for subheadings as well. So if I do the two asterisks here, we've got a section 3.1. You know, this is a subheading. And then of course, when you when you export these on the back end, uh, these numbers will be retained, uh, unless of course you put like up at the top here, if you did an option uh, num nil, there will be no numbers. But in your document itself, you can see you'll still have these dynamic numbers here. So yeah, see now section 3.1 became section 2.1. So that's, that's a different way of organizing your document and being able to see numbers as you type. Uh, one of the things that I was experimenting with, uh, so for example, if, if you want this third heading here or this third position to be unnumbered when you export, uh, control C, control X, control P, oops, control C, control X, and then just P. You can put uh, the unnumbered property and set it to T for true. Um, and you'll see here, it's st it will still be dynamically numbered in the document, but when you export this, it will not have a number three on it. It will have, um, it'll just be unnumbered. So uh, that's something you can do as well. And of course, for that to work, you'll, you will not want to include the, the num nil option. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. So that's how you can actually have some dynamic numbers assigned to headings in the org document. And uh, I'm sure there are various use cases where that might be useful to you. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think. If you think that this is something that is helpful or if it's something that you think you might use, uh, definitely let me know. And um, if you like the video, of course, smash the like button. If you think someone else might get some value out of this, go ahead and share it. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I'm going to leave it there. Be sure to leave me any comments or questions you may have, and I'll see you all next time.